The New York Forum Africa welcomes entrepreneurs who are changing the economic landscape of Africa. In December 2012, in Morocco, 57% of the population had a bank account, a phenomenon that is not stranger to the strategy of the Atijari Wafa Bank. There are 90 to 95 percent of African people who do not even have a single bank account. Yet we are talking about the expansion of access to basic banking and finance services. The Atijari Wafa Bank operates today in 12 different African countries and is developing its model. A local economic bank that offers a standard basic product built around a single account, a credit card and small services. On its side, in South Africa, the company of defense and security, the Paramount Group, wants to change the rules. A lot of people believe that Africa is only a a recipient of foreign direct investment, that Africa is only a receiver of technology. The truth is that that's no longer the truth. We have the ability to invest externally, to transfer technology externally, and Paramount today operates in more than 40 countries around the world. Paramount is particularly known for designing an airplane 100% African and an all-road anti-mine vehicle. Nothing seems to shake its desire to impose Africa in the economic world. And I want to see more African companies understand that they have the capacity to compete globally, that they have the capacity to invest further in their countries, in their economies, to create jobs, and through the creation of jobs to contribute to alleviating poverty. The South African industrial is leading the way. It employs 1,500 people, including hundreds of highly skilled engineers.